that we had here uh, from Atlantic City um, proved to have problems in play. So it was taken back to the motor shop. Gentleman took it apart, realigned it, put shims in it, and we now have a situation that's correct that way. Yesterday, this was on Tuesday, May 12th, or so, whatever the date, um, the motor was brought back and actually put into the blower shell. We hooked up the electricity to it, turned it on, and yes, lo and behold, no end play, but bearing problems. Now, the receipts show that new bearings were put in the unit. So we ended up putting grease in, and as the day wore on, literally, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, things started to get quiet. And by 4 o'clock, I had it up to 60 cycles, normal running speed, and things were relatively quiet. You could still hear some rumble in the inboard bearing. Well, as things developed this morning, when I came in, I turned it on, and it sounded like a bunch of marbles rattling around in a cage. So much to my sorrow, it has to come out and go back to Atlantic City. Uh, I'm waiting for confirmation as to the hour it will happen. So once again, we're thwarted and moving ahead. It's a little discouraging in time, I have to admit, because we have to have it running to test anything else. So uh, until it functions, I'm, I could say comfortably we're dead in the water. Uh, what I'm doing at this point is playing with the toy counter, which right up to this point it has been an irrelevant piece of equipment. But we are to the point now of just to, to do something that's constructive. It's in the process of reconstruction on the shelf. Um, before this morning, I was ready to go. I've put wind to this particular thing through the use of a vacuum cleaner, and all six functions work. So that's where we stand at this moment. I shouldn't say stand. I should say sit, because I am. But anyway, it's, uh, let's put it this way, mildly speaking, an adventure. And... Uh, Frankly, at this point in my life, I'll be tickled to death if it played tomorrow. I am, I must admit, I'm getting tired. Uh, and I think frustration is really the big thing because it's just like you or anyone else sitting waiting for something to happen, and it doesn't. You're sitting there biting your nails and uh, just say, what can I do? What can I do? And... Uh, I hope that the next time we chat, I have some better news. Thanks.